right, to support whoever will emerge as a presidential candidate going to the 2024 battle mm -hmm. to enable us break the eighth. You see, the party itself is a structure, and every structure needs leadership. Mm -hmm. So every four years, we come to do this, to elect and select people to lead us into our fight. So we're going to see these people we are going to elect this afternoon through to 2024. And their performance of what they will do will actually help us see whether we are breaking the age or we are going back into the doldrums, mm. which, God forbid, will never happen. But looking at uh, some of the complaints of Ghanaians, economic hardships and all these things, how sure are you that these leaders would be able to help, uh, I mean, help the government in, in power to, me, I mean, come out of these things? Let me be very honest with you. Things are not very, very normal. And you might have heard what is happening across the globe. And Ghana is no exception. The situation we are in, some of us see it as a temporary situation. This has happened from time to time, right? The vice president has mentioned, the president has mentioned, all of us are behind those um, sort of um, explanations that we have for the globe, right? We need to do something to fight when we are in trouble. Right, in the current language, you can be with the since you once in our home. Where we are, it is not our fault. Some things in economics, they call exogenous factors. Factors that are beyond your control. It is not in your environment. You cannot control it. But it happens and impacts on you negatively. That is what we have. We've mentioned about four different things that is happening. And across the globe, even Ghana is better. If you go to America now, they are rationing some commodities in their supermarkets. No matter how much money you have, you pick your trolley, pick 10, they will put eight down and let you go away with only two to pay for. Right? They are queuing, right, in Dubai for fuel. So Ghana is no exception. That is why I'm saying that we need leaders who can carry us through this type of situation that we are in. And I believe the government will get on top of it. This was the first time we came to meet Ghana in IMF. We brought them Ghana back, right? We were moving until COVID came in. And then after that, that what has hit us most is the Ukraine war. If we had budgeted fuel to spend $65 um, per barrel, and on that estimate, our whole yearly consumption is about $300 million. Now we need $400 million, $600 million to bring the same quantity of fuel. How do we generate dollars from Wakoko and the gold taxes we take from people? Can that give us double our consumption cost it's not possible. So definitely Ghana will plunge itself into challenges. And I believe that some of us are very confident that we'll go over this thing.